Live action role playing, also known as LARPing, as you can see, isn't just for kids. In fact, it's even used by the military. I've recently, uh, in the past couple years, went to Fort Irwin's National Training Center out in the Mojave Desert, and where they're uh, there, they've built a, lar a series of towns. They've built a series of towns there to represent the Middle East, in this case Iraq, but they're changing in Afghanistan. And soldiers, before they go overseas, get an immersive environment inside a Middle Eastern culture that they might not be familiar with. Aaron Vanek is a pioneer and visionary in the realm of LARPing. Mark Twain said that all of us are ignorant about different things. Aaron, described to me, the common man here, what live action role playing is all about. Well, you've probably uh, engaged in live action role playing many times before. When you were a kid and you played cops and robbers in the backyard or cowboys and Indians, that's live action role playing. I did a lot of that. As, as in the simplest form, that's what it is. What we're doing, some of the adults, it's just more involved. You have props, realistic, realistic looking guns, and, and a western town, and we're in costume, and there's rules for when you're shooting the bad guy, and things like that. It's just more involved, it's more developed. Vanek's also taking this phenomenon to the classroom. It's using the hook of interactive storytelling to hook kids that normally don't really want to do math out of context into a context. We give them a story framework to, uh, to work with, and it hooks them. So it's like, yeah, you absolutely do want to do math because you're going to save the ship, and you get to be the hero. As you can see, it helps to have props. Aaron, I've always wanted to be Hercules. I always thought it would be fun to be Aragon. So this is what live action role playing is all about. Just like this. I'm Ben McCain, reporting from Venice. There's a tavern around this corner. Are the barmaids pretty? 